Ooh. Hey guys, we're out in Pescadero right now and we're planning to make a popular dim sum dish called Ha Gao, also known as crystal shrimp dumplings. And we're just gonna grab some mussels today as well as look at what else we can find because it's low tide. on these guys is 10 pounds per day but make sure to call the biotoxin hotline before you grab any. Tenacious. <laughs> he's trying to eat my knife. Or not really I think sure. He's trying to use your knife. He's trying to use my knife against me. The tables have turned. <laughs> but uh, you can tell it's male. So that kind of, and he almost did use it against me. But I don't know. To measure it, I think it's about four inches. Yeah. But we're gonna let this guy go. We're back in the kitchen, and as mentioned earlier, we're gonna be making ha gao, but with mussels. We're gonna parboil them so that they form a more solid shape, because when they're in their raw form, they're pretty slimy and separated. So you can see the bottom muscle just slowly starting to open up, so I think we're ready to take out these muscles. Just wanna be careful because the shell is extremely hot, but now we're gonna use an oyster shucker to open up these fully and cut through the muscle. Now that the muscles are out of their shells, we're gonna prepare the rest of the fillings. First, we'll chop up some shiitake mushrooms. I'm gonna just quickly dice these up and then saute them for a couple minutes and allow it to finish cooking in the steamer. The next ingredient we're using are the bamboo shoots. They don't add too much flavor, we're just mainly gonna use it for a nice crunch. We're gonna be using a canned version because we don't wanna risk getting sick, along with it just being easier. Bamboo shoots actually contain a toxin that produces cyanide if not cooked fully. Next part of the filling is gonna be the garlic and we're just gonna use some pre-minced garlic. So just like ha gaos, we're gonna keep some of the mussels whole and then we're gonna chop up the biggest one that we have in half. Each of these pieces will be going into its own separate little dumpling. For the rest of the mussels we have, we're gonna dice them up. Finally, we're gonna add the final ingredients to the filling, which will be some pure sesame oil. Gonna add a little bit of cornstarch. And now we're gonna add in some pork fat. We got this pork fat by basically just rendering down some bacon. With all the ingredients assembled in the bowl, we're now gonna mix it together. Now that everything's mixed together, we're gonna set it aside in the fridge to let the flavors develop. Next, we're gonna make the dumpling skins. I pre measured out three quarters of a cup of wheat starch, two tablespoons of tapioca starch, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. If you can't find tapioca starch, you can substitute it for potato or corn starch, but you definitely need to use wheat starch. Now we're gonna sift this into a bowl. Next, we're gonna slowly add in half a cup of boiling water, which will cook the starch flour mixture. We're gonna mix it with a chopstick, and then once it starts to look a little crumbly like it does here, we're gonna knead it out on an oiled mat. Before I pour this out, I'm gonna add in two and a half teaspoons of vegetable oil. And now I'm gonna dump this out and start to knead it. You're going to keep kneading it until you form an elastic ball. Once you're done, place it back in the bowl and let it rest for five minutes with a towel on top. I'm gonna use this bench scraper to flatten the sphere into a circle and then continue to roll that out into a thin dumpling wrapper with this rolling pin. The dumpling wrapper needs to be pretty thin so it'll look translucent when it's done cooking. Once you roll it out, you wanna try and place the filling with the whole muscle towards the center of the dumpling. Then fold the skin in half and pleat one half onto itself until you've reached the end. Then press it down onto itself to make sure that it's sealed. Since we're not experts here, I'm actually gonna be using a scissor to cut off the excess dough that I pressed out. Next, just push these edges down to make a U shape and it should look something like this. Once you have a few made, you can place them in the steamer and steam them for around 10 minutes. So 
so I'm kind of scared because I don't want it to break. I know, I'm scared too. You can go first. So that's what it looks like. So there it is. This little dumpling. You want to try picking it up too? Yeah, I mean, I always break these at dim sum, so this will not be a surprise if I break it. Mmm. Oh, it's good. That's good. See the muscle right there? Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's try it. Really strong muscles taste, always mm -hmm. good, always fresh, a little sweet, still a little salty. Um, I think everything just really complemented each yeah. other really well. It was really good, I think yeah. it was really good. So the question, would you make this again? I think we might practice more and got used to making the wrap things more easily than yes, otherwise, no, <laughs> it was a lot of yeah. work. Um, yeah, we have so many like dim sum places in the bay that like, I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> so if you're interested in trying this out for some reason, instead of just paying $4 at a dim sum place, we'll have the recipe and the ingredients down in the description box below. And um, if you guys want to see us make something else unique or different, or even an everyday recipe, just let us know in the comments below as well. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.